Eric, um, we haven't had a chance to talk, but I just want to put my face so you can see who I am and introduce myself. Um, I'm really excited at working with Caplink, and I and I sent you our OIF manual, and I want you as the CEO. I really think you have a great product, but you're missing a completely different niche, and um, I want to open up that niche for you because ultimately, I don't see why we can't work together. And if I can develop this new niche for you, because the niche that you're focused on is a red ocean, you're competing with Grow VC, you're competing with ProFounder, you're pre competing, and if the SEC comes out, you're gonna be a whole bunch of other things. I want you to take a look at a website, and I'm gonna link it in here, called ncdsinc.net. ncdsinc.net is the National Community Development Services. They've raised over 1.6 billion in funding for strategic initiatives. Now the reason why I found up as a strategic initiative that aims to be a startup is because we're going to be using their systemology, okay, their method of raising funds without the need of institutional investors. Now my argument is this, if 1.6 billion dollars can be raised for economic development initiatives, for nonprofit initiatives and so on, then why can it not be used for raising for entrepreneurs? The answer is, it certainly can, all right? The problem is, this methodology of raising funds is basically has been exclusive to a very small niche of providers. Um, normal nonprofits and other organizations like chambers and economic development bureaus do not utilize this. Why? Because um, they can't afford it. If you wanted to hire an NCDS director to um, raise money for you, you'd be looking at spending about $20,000 a month for them to be there. Now, everything they do, now I was one of their strategic capital campaign directors, can be done basically on a platform, what I call a campaign management system. Okay, a C. CMS, right? A CMS, Campaign Management System. It's like Customer Management System, Campaign Management System. Now, what you have been developing is, in essence, a campaign management system. Now, your campaign management system is lacking. It's missing a lot of the parts that need to be there, but it's a good start. So, my offer to you is what we should explore is either what we can do is um, allow my developers access to the code, right, to finish off your product, um, and with the understanding that we have an exclusive agreement, that we wouldn't share it, we would use it, we would develop it, um, and we would license what you've developed for it instead of us recreating everything that you've done. Or B, basically add the component to your existing system. So we offer two options. Um, the found up option, and it would have to be licensed to the found up, saying that you know found ups have a free, if you're a found up, then you have access to this uh, campaign management system um, as a strategic initiative seeking to become a startup. And then phase two, when they become a startup, we use the other platform, which is your platform. Do you see what I'm saying? So, as as I've got the idea, I'm validating it's a it's it's a strategic initiative to become a, a, a startup, right? We use we have um, A and B, and I will basically, if you look in, um, you know, if you look at OIF, you'll notice there's a, a graph there called the um, the OIF manual. Study that OIF manual. There's the chasm. You know, there's the innovator section at the beginning, and I call it, and you'll see, notice that it's blue, and then you've got the red, and that's the startup. And you got that line where the A is, all right? So basically, I want you to think about it. I mean, I don't need a decision right now. I'm excited to help you, but the opportunity here is we're using OIF. There's no reason why we can't have 10,000, 100,000, I mean, seriously, 100,000 um, found ups basically being crowdsourced and crowdfunded using a two-prong fundraising approach. The first prong is the, is the private 
strategic capital campaign, right, which I want to use your system for. And then phase two, once they hit their 80% goal, we do a public um, crowd uh, sourcing campaign. And then once we launch, once we basically secure the customer, right, um, because a, a startup basically is you either have customers or investors lined up. So either or one or two is going to happen. Either A, you're going to line up customers and then you're going to launch as a, as a startup. Or B, you're going to identify um, you know, people indicating to you that, you're, that they're interested in investing. Because found-ups basically aren't going to be looking for um, investors. We don't look for investors. We focus on just working, right? We let investors come to us. And um, the opportunity here is massive. And I don't know if you get this. I don't know if you understand. It's basically we're creating a pipeline for um, CapLinked. And we have two product lines. We have the, the strategic capital campaign uh, method, which our, in, our contributors, not investors, are corporations that are either going to be greatly benefited by us or greatly harmed by us. And we mitigate both those benefits and risk by allowing them to make a very small investment of 0.1% of their gross revenue as a contribution that then is treated as a times 10, right, times 10 in found up dollars for them to actually buy equity, right, when that found up launches. Think about it. It was nice meeting you. I appreciate the, the, the uh, you know, the invitation for becoming your QA guy. I look forward to it.